The sun, the blazing engine at the center of our solar system. It gives us light, warmth, seasons, food, and energy. Without it, Earth would be nothing more than a frozen rock drifting through the void. But what if one day the sun just turned off? No explosion, no warning, just gone. The moment it disappears, nothing on Earth would seem different. Not at first. That's because the light we see from the sun takes about 8 minutes and 20 seconds to reach Earth. So for just over 8 minutes after it goes dark, everything continues as usual. People would still be driving to work. Children would still be playing outside. But then, suddenly, the sky would go black. Not like nighttime. Not like an eclipse. This would be total darkness. A pitch black sky even at noon. The moon would vanish because it doesn't produce its own light. So would all the planets visible from Earth. Everything we once saw glowing in the sky thanks to reflected sunlight, gone. In the first few minutes the temperature wouldn't drop much. Earth would retain some heat thanks to its atmosphere, the oceans and the crust itself. But that thermal buffer wouldn't last long. Within hours, the temperature would plummet. After just 24 hours, the average surface temperature on Earth would fall to around 17 degrees or 1 degrees. Tropical areas would dip below freezing. Temperate regions would become hostile and polar zones would descend into absolute cold. After a week without sunlight, the surface temperature would drop below 70 degrees or 94 degrees. The top layers of oceans, rivers, and lakes would begin to freeze. Eventually, even the seas would be encased in thick ice, though it would take thousands of years for the oceans to freeze completely solid. Photosynthesis would stop almost instantly. Plants would begin to die. Crops would wither. And with no food at the bottom of the food chain, the entire global ecosystem would begin to collapse. Without sunlight, most animals would freeze or starve within weeks. Only those living deep underground or near geothermal vents at the bottom of the ocean would stand a chance. Microbes, extremophiles, maybe some fungi, they'd survive the longest. But mammals, birds, reptiles, and most fish? Extinct. Humans would retreat underground, into bunkers and shelters built to survive nuclear war or cosmic catastrophe. With enough energy, maybe we could generate artificial heat and light. Maybe we could power hydroponic farms. Maybe. But even the most advanced shelters would rely on fossil fuels, nuclear energy, or geothermal sources, all of which are finite or fragile. Electric grids would fail. Most power plants, coal, gas, and even solar, rely on complex systems that weren't designed for a frozen, pitch-black world. Even nuclear plants need coolant systems, which would struggle in sub-zero conditions. After a year, the average surface temperature on Earth would drop to around 240 dig or 151 dig. At that point, the atmosphere itself would begin to condense. Carbon dioxide would freeze. Nitrogen and oxygen would start to liquefy. Earth would no longer be a planet with breathable air. It would be a ball of ice, wrapped in a suffocating vacuum. But it gets worse. The sun doesn't just provide light and heat. Its gravity keeps the solar system in order. If the sun simply turned off but its mass remained, Planets would keep orbiting as usual. But if the sun somehow vanished completely, along with its gravity, Earth and the other planets would be flung into deep space in straight lines, no longer tethered to anything. Earth would become a rogue planet, drifting alone through the universe, with no light, no heat, and no hope of rescue. And even if we survived somehow, deep underground or in engineered habitats, we'd be living on borrowed time. No new food, no natural ecosystem, no long-term energy, no replacement sun. Some scientists speculate that life could survive indefinitely near hydrothermal vents, those deep-sea fissures that spew heat and chemicals from Earth's core. And they might. But that's not civilization. That's bacteria clinging to existence in the dark. Humanity as we know it would be finished. So how likely is any of this? Fortunately, not very. The sun isn't going to vanish anytime soon. It's a stable, middle-aged star with an estimated 5 billion years of life left. When it does begin to die, it won't just go dark. It'll expand into a red giant, swallowing Mercury, Venus, and possibly Earth. Then it'll shrink into a white dwarf and slowly cool over trillions of years. But even so, nothing lasts forever. One day the sun will die. And if we're still around when it happens, we'd better be somewhere else. On another planet. In another system. With a new sun to orbit. Until then, every sunrise is a miracle. Every ray of sunlight is a reminder that we're alive thanks to a delicate cosmic balance that could end at any moment. So the next time you step outside and feel the warmth on your skin, think about what it would be like if that warmth never came back. Because if the sun ever goes out, there is no second chance. No warning. No future. Just cold. Silent. Darkness.
Subscribe us for more videos.